It's been a little while since we've had something that could be considered a generic engine. Once upon a time, before the uh, cl great calamity that was Power of the Elements, most decks were just kind of a bunch of generic engines just kind of smashed together, right? We had punks, we had adventure, we had verte stuff, we had scythe stuff, we had, uh, there's one more, oh, rose dragon stuff as well. Right, most decks were just kind of three, three to five different engines smashed together. We haven't seen anything like that in a while. Konami has really tuned down on the generics engine kind of stuff. Until now, where we have, crazily enough, Super Heavy Samurais as a generic engine. Now you've probably heard about these, but you took... You took a look at the cards, and they had too much text, and you just didn't bother trying to figure out what they actually accomplished. So before I get into some of the applications, I'm going to talk about uh, like the pieces of the engine itself first. Uh, you'll notice that four of them are new cards, and one of them is an older card. The main focus is going to be on Prodigy Wakaushi. The main thing you need to know about this, um, as like the generic engine side of things, is its pendulum effect, which if you have no spells and traps in your grave, you can place a super heavy pendulum from your deck in your pendulum zone, except itself, then special this card. So it's a level 4 tuner that summons itself out and will put a super heavy uh, pendulum scale in your scales. Now, the one you're going to be going for is Super Every Samurai Monk Big Benkei. Again, the only effect you really care about in terms of the engine is the Pendulum effect, where if you control a Super Heavy Samurai, which you always will if you uh, put it in your scale off of Wakaushi, you can add a Super Heavy Samurai Soul monster from your deck to your hand. All right, so right off the bat, you have the body, you have the big Benkei, which will always have a search provided that you used Wakaushi. Now, what are the monsters that you're going to be searching off of your Benkei? Well, first we have a level two. The, the main gist of these next two cards is basically the same. Uh, you can equip it from your hand to your Wakaushi and then while it's equipped, you can special it, right? Uh, and this one is basically the same thing, except it's a level 4. So you have a level 2 and a level 4 that you can just special alongside your Wakaushi. Uh, and these two are what you want to be searching off of your Benkei. And finally, the last card is Super Heavy Samurai Bike, which the main thing you need to know is that you can discard this card while you have no spells and traps in your graveyard to add a super heavy samurai monster from your deck to your hand, except the bike. So it can basically be uh, more copies of Wakaushi, because this is your this is your one card starter. So you can play three of this, three of that, if you want to go super heavy into the engine. Let's say your big Benkei gets ashed, right? And you have this in hand, you can use it to search for your claw. Or your booster to help you like finish the engine if you get interrupted. So the main thing is that you're going to be making uh, level 6 synchros, level 8 synchros, or uh, rank 4 Xyz. And there are no restrictions on this engine at all, so you can make pretty much anything and everything uh, with zero restriction. And finally, what I think is the most unique part about this engine, and what separates it from, say, like Punk, for example, is that if Wakaushi is used as Synchro Material, you can place it from your extra deck in your face-up Pendulum Zone. And that effect also does not put any kind of restriction on you. So, you'll notice that if you make a level 6 synchro or a level 8 synchro, you will now have a 1 scale and an 8 scale 
in your pendulum zones that has no restriction. So, uh, I'll talk about a little bit more as we transition into the application side of things. So first, let's go over kind of the ordering of effects uh, using the Wakaushi as the one card starter. So first, uh, you just want to activate it in your pendulum scale. And then, provided that you still have Benkei in your deck, uh, you can summon it and then scale the Benkei. Uh, a downside of this is that you cannot summon it unless you have a valid target to put in your pendulum scale. And you can't put itself. So if you brick on the Benkei, you might be kind of screwed, but it's also not it's also not really the end of the world. So now that we have the Benkei in our scales, we can use its effect to search for uh, most of the examples are going to be the level 6 Synchro route. We can activate the Soul Claw to equip, so it'll go in our Spell Trap zone first. Uh, and then we can use its effect to summon out onto the field. So now we have our level 4 tuner and our level 2 non-tuner. And you can make any generic level 6 Synchro that you want, right? Even some non-generic ones, because they're both uh, machines. And then since we used the Wakaushi as Synchro Material, it will go into our Pendulum Scales. So at this point, we have 1 through 8 Pendulum Scales, which means we can Pendulum Summon like as many monsters that we have left in our hand as possible at any point. We have a level 6 Synchro that can be anything. And we have not used our normal summon. So, for a deck like Adamancipator, where you have a Raptite as a generic level 6 that can also, like, start your engine. Because if you reveal, like, Researcher, Seeker, or Analyzer off of the Raptite, like, you're just, you're off to the races, right? Um, that, that just kind of starts your whole Adamancipator engine. And at any point during your turn, you should still have uh, four cards in hand. Or if any number of those four cards are monsters, um, Ad Emancipator basically plays level twos and level fours, which means they are perfectly within the scales um, of, your, of your super heavy samurais. So if you get Nibirud or something, for example, you can just vomit out a bunch of more monsters onto the board to continue comboing. So for a deck like Ad Emancipator, um, this is just a super strong engine if you can manage to pull it off. Because it gets you your starters without using your normal summon, and if you get interrupted mid-combo, you still have like a full pendulum summon to just go off to the races. So. Uh, you can start you can start to see the potential of this engine here. And of course, while we are on the subject of uh, <laughs> the uh, level six synchros, it's worth noting that uh, for all the goatee boys out there, Arion Post is just a generic level six. So you can get your Arion Post out to like go ahead and banish a fish from your deck. And then again, you get your pendulum scales. You haven't normal summoned yet. And for a deck like Fish, um, the deck really wants to play right now the Supe engine. Uh, and this, the Supe engine restricts you into synchros only for the turn. Uh, this engine has no restriction on that. So if you open something like, like a Lifeless Leaf Fish or an Abyss Shark, or any kind of just level 4s. Um, you can also just normal summon those, or pendulum summon those, <laughs> right? And then you can make like Bahamut Toad, you can make Kragan. You can make all kinds of stuff, even like more synchros. You can probably make like a turn 1 bur uh, Barone, uh, thanks to being able to pendulum summon out any number of monsters. So an engine like this, while it it is going to be slightly bigger 
than the Supe engine, uh, it will give you, like, an insane number of more options added to your inboard, as well as being able to play through disruption better, thanks to having a pendulum summon, just being able to summon out anything you want at any time. Another deck that can greatly benefit from this is going to be Zombies. Because there is a, a newer-ish uh, level 6 Synchro that can help kickstart your zombie stuff. Uh, it can't do it on its own, but it can uh, help you extend combos if you draw it alongside like a Unizombie, for example. Uh, and it, of course, as you can see, is Immortal Dragon. So, in a deck like Zombies, you're going to have your Pendulum Scales. And Zombies is like a very monster-heavy deck, right? So, being able to just vomit out a bunch of zombies onto the board that might... That might otherwise be stuck in your hand. Like, if you have a bunch of Mizukis stuck in your hand, you can just Pendulum Summon them. Uh, and then just, like, start popping off. But... Uh, it helps you get to Immortal Dragon, like, super easy. And uh, this is just like a little sample showcase of what you can do with just these two cards alone, right? You can dump Mizukis, you can send things like Changshi, which can dump another Mizuki, make Baron, and then just keep popping off here. Make something like a Draco, right? And then... You know, if you already had a couple of these cards in your hand or whatever, you can also dump like a Nec Necro World Banshee to get uh, the field spell, Zombie World. And another thing worth mentioning is that even if you're not playing like a zombie deck, this, this engine still gets you to Immortal Dragon super easy, which gets you to um, Necro World Banshee plus Zombie World. Right, so just starting with Waka Ushi can put a zombie world on board without really using any resources at all. And it gives you, you still have your normal summon, you still have your pendulum scales, and you have a zombie world on board. So for decks that like hard lose to, uh, to zombie world, you can play like a little three card package. Um... Right, if you're already playing the Super Heavies, you can play a little three-card package just to put Zombie World on board against decks that, like, hard lose to it, like, uh, Flunderies. After the last couple of examples, you can start to see, uh, how the engine can be used in so many different applications. And, uh, I think the next one is going to be something a little bit different. So, so far, I've shown you the uh, level 6 Synchro applications, and there are plenty, plenty more of those. But let's talk about the level 8 applications. Uh, because remember, there is that level 4 that can be summoned the same way as the level 2 Super Heavy Monster. And you can see this Karakuri monster chilling in my hand, right? <laughs> you can see this guy chilling in my hand. So, off of the Benkei, we can search the Booster, which is the level 4 extender for the engine. So now we can make any generic 8, uh, but uh, for more specific applications, both of these are machines, uh, which has two main pluses. One is that <laughs> it can go into machine synchros like Beredo. Right, which will just kind of kickstart your entire uh, Harakuri engine here. Because you can go into your Beret Boo and all that stuff. You can like search monsters, you can summon monsters. You still have your Pendulum Scale to be able to uh, get all kinds of dudes. So for a deck like Karakuri that hasn't uh, really had much to offer since the old uh, desk bot Auroradon days. Uh, you can do some really neat stuff off of, uh, off of this. Alright, so this is just a little example Karakuri combo, where you can, you can end on, like, I think this is three interruptions. 
Um, and then you still have like, you know, your pendulum summon and all that stuff too. So as far as level 8 synchros go, there isn't a whole lot of generic starters the way that level 6 has. Um, Sword Soul Chi Shao requires a worm, so you can't make that. Uh, Punk Dragon Drive requires a Psychic, so you can't make that. Um, really, the only one I could find that could be like a play starter is uh, Barreto for Karakuri. Because uh, you do have the machine requirement fulfilled. So if you want to play like a level 8 engine, I think the Punk engine is just better. Uh, unless you really value, like, the pendulum scales and not having to normal summon. But the punks can kind of get to level 8s much easier and with a lot less bricks, in my opinion. So for level 8s, I would probably still go with punks, but for level 6 synchro starters, uh, I think this engine is way better. And now, let's move away from the synchros for a little bit. And let's talk about more of the pendulum side of things, because these are, of course, pendulum monsters at the end of the day. We can start the same way as we always do, right? You can get, you can get the level 2 here, or you can get the level 4. I think most pendulum decks would prefer to just have, like, the level 4 non-tuner. Right, but you can summon out this guy, and there is a new Link 2, well, I say new, but not not really new at this point, um, that requires you have at least one Pendulum monster, which is beyond the Pendulum, because it just requires two effect monsters, including a Pendulum. Right, so our Wakaushi does fulfill the Pendulum requirement, So what this will offer us is that uh, we have the Benkei, which fulfills the one scale, it's the low scale, and you get that just for free as part of the engine. Uh, and then if you have a high scale in hand, or not, you can use Beyond to search for the high scale. So for example, let's say you search for a high scale like Double Iris that you're gonna try to pop later. You have both of your scales and the Beyond the Pendulum, and you have a level 4 tuner in your extra deck uh, for your Pendulum Summon, but just off of one card, right? So by this point, you will have like four other monsters in hand uh, that you can just Pendulum Summon out onto the board and do like full, full Pendulum combo, whatever that looks like these days. You also uh, have not Normal Summoned, so you still have that in the bank as well. So you just have so much resources in a pendulum strategy without really committing too much, right? Right, even if your Ben K gets ashed or whatever, even if your Beyond gets ashed or whatever, like you still you still went plus two and got like a free scale out of the deal. So you still have the zones, you still have at least one scale to work with. And finally, let's talk about the, the last application for this engine. So it can start synchro combos, it can start pendulum combos. What about Xyz combos? Well, do I have some good news for you? Because <laughs> like I mentioned earlier, you can just search for the Soul Gaia booster you can summon this bad boy out. And now you have access to the entire rank 4 pool. Well, I guess I should say the entire generic rank 4 pool. So you can get things like... Again, for Ad Emancipator, you can make uh, Gallant Granite to start your Ad Emancipator combos. You can make um, the uh, Raid Raptor Force Strix to start your Raid Raptor rank 4 combos or whatever. Black Wings. You can make um, King of the Feral Imps to start your alien combos, right? You can get... Hell, you can make like Baguska 
you know, like, let's say the rest of your hand is just, like, garbage, you can just make Baguska here and just chill. All without using, like, any, any of your main deck resources. But the one that I think is the coolest is that both of these are machines. So we are going to make Gear Gigan X. And Gear Gigan X opens up a lot of opportunities for a lot of machine decks. Because it can search for any level 4 or lower machine in the game. And there are, are tons of cards that uh, this can search, right? And remember, we have not normal summoned yet, so... We're basically getting like a free search for a monster without committing anything. And of course, one of my favorites gotta be my boy Gearsu. So you can just search Gearsu off of one little super heavy samurai guy, and then you still have your normal summon to be able to normal summon the Gearsu. So uh, you can just like full orcist combo off of off of that this one little guy, and it just makes me so happy that uh, that you can do this. <laughs> also, this guy is a dark machine, so even if you don't like open it, you can um, you can like search it off of crescendo, and then. The following turn, after you use Crescendo, you can like go into your entire Super Heavy Samurai engine. Which is just hilarious. Uh, you have Ding plus uh, Symbol Engrave, like, it, you just... You just get the full Orcus combo off of a Super Heavy Samurai monster. Like, why? How, how can you do something like that? <laughs> so as far as examples go, that's, that's about all I have. Obviously, there are tons and tons of other applications you can use for this. Um, it's really just a limit of your imagination at this point. <laughs> it can make synchros, it can make links, it can make rank 4 XCs, which opens up plays in so many different decks, right? Even like um, once we get these new like Excel Excel cards and like Assault Synchron, you could probably do something with that as well. Like the, the possibilities for this are crazy. Especially for Synchro decks, because being able to Pendulum Summon in Ad Emancipator just sounds like the, the craziest shit I've ever heard. Like imagine, imagine Nibiruing an Ad Emancipator player and then they just like Pendulum Summon four cards. And then they keep going. Like it's... <laughs> It's like the stupidest thing, but also the coolest thing at the same time, so... Um, if you can think of any other cool applications for this, uh, please let me know in the comments. Like, I would I would love to hear it. That's about all I had for, uh, for this Super Heavy Samurai Showcase. Like I said, there are plenty of things that I didn't show here. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments. I'm sure me... And a lot of other people would love to see what kind of wacky ideas people can come up with using this, these cards. Uh, and with that, 